This is the NASA Ames Research Center Intelligent Robotics Group. We're going to be talking about the Astro B project today. My name is Trey Smith and I'm the lead systems engineer for the project. This is uh, prototype four of the Astro B. In many ways it's not exactly flight-like, uh, but it's pretty close in terms of things like size and the layout of the different components of the robot. The Astro B project has three main use cases. The first use case is uh, that it'll be a replacement for the SPHERES research facility, which currently is on orbit on the ISS, and it's used for all kinds of uh, guest science. The second use case is we want to be able to take video of crew activities. The state of the art for taking video of crew on the ISS is the crew themselves will set up uh, camcorders. Uh, we prefer it if the flight controllers can uh, basically uh, move their own camera around and spare the crew that effort. The third use case is for sensor surveys. Any kind of payload that, that you can put on the Astro B, if it's a sensor, now you can do a survey of the entire ISS. So the first thing you'll notice is the robot has a central module surrounded by two propulsion modules. So the two propulsion modules provide six degree of freedom holonomic control for the robot. Each of them contains a central uh, impeller. So that's a centrifugal fan. It draws air in this way. It pressurizes the plenum inside and then the nozzles allow a different amount of uh, air out of each nozzle to control the thrust level. This is the nav cam. We use this for general purpose navigation. So the robot will recognize the pre-existing features, landmarks uh, on the inside of the ISS. You can see in our lab environment here, we actually have posters that are basically blown up photographs of the ISS walls to give us some realistic visual texture to work with. Here we're looking at the aft side of the Astro B robot. First thing to notice is we have these cups here that match two lances that are on the docking station. So as the Astro B moves in close to the docking station, that those features will help it align properly. So the perching arm is designed to grasp onto ISS handrails. So you can see how the, the fingers of the arm open. Once it grabs onto a handrail, it uses its two degrees of freedom to provide a pan tilt motion for the camera, the side cam that we talked about on the front side of the robot. Originally, Astro B was a three-year project. We recently got an extension that covers 2018, and we'll be using that period to do on-orbit commissioning. Our goal is to get the hardware on dock, ready to launch from Kennedy Space Center uh, by the end of uh, fiscal 2017. 